Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learners Planet. Uh, friends, with this session I am starting a new series that is speed building sessions. I uh, will be taking particularly problems based on quant DI and reasoning all of them as well in a single session. Uh, I am assuming that your preparations are now at the final stage. You might have revised all the concept of uh, quant DI and reasoning. You might have attended the basic sessions. You might have attended the advanced sessions as well. So now it's good time to take speed building sessions. And apart from that, I'll be solving the queries sent by the students uh, in this session. Any of uh, you, all of you can send me the doubts, whatever you are having while uh, your final preparation, while you are doing your final preparations. So in this session, uh, let's take some of the doubts. Now friends, uh, some of the students are confused uh, while uh, they solve this sort of problems. They are asking uh, for, for a formula or maybe whatever the shortcut behind this uh, particular pattern of questions. So uh, see, it's very, very simple. You don't even, you don't have to go even for any sort of paperwork while solving this sort of problems. It's just common sense based. And uh, again and again, I am telling do not rely too much on formula just work on concepts work on logics right then only you'll be able to solve the twisted problem which are asked in the examinations right gradually the competition the level of the questions which are asked in the examination is like uh, growing very fast okay so you need to be clear with all the concepts rather than mugging up the formula do work on concepts again and again i'm telling Right now, this uh, series over there x is equal to root of 12 plus root of 12, and the series is going till infinity. Right now, out of this, 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 this complete thing is what it's x. Right, so out of this complete thing, if I take up this part, the remaining it uh, looks like x only because from the from the complete set of uh, this numbers or the from, from the complete term, I'm just taking one single term. Right, so the remaining part is also x. So precisely it is this. Right? Now what? Here it is x, here it is x. That means this number, that is whatever uh, the term in, inside the square root, that should be perfect square. Right? Now how do you get the perfect square number? Whatever the value of x you put over here, the same value you should get over here. Right? So if you put x as 4, what will happen? 12 plus 4, 16, you will be getting 4 over here, isn't it? If you put x is equal to minus 3, then what will happen? 12 minus 3, 9, square root of 9 is 3. Right? So what, what is happening actually over here? You have to choose a value of x. So whatever, you, whatever the value of x you put over here, you will be getting the same value over here. Right? So if I put x as 4, so 12 plus 4, that's 16, square root of 16, you can take 4 and minus 4 both, but since x you have put as 4, so the answer will be 4 only, right? Whatever the value of x you are putting, the same value should be uh, obtained over here. Now suppose x you put as minus 3, so 12 minus 3, that's 9, so square root of 9 will be 3 and minus 3 both, but since you have put up x as minus 3, you need to take the negative value, right? That's it, nothing else you have to do. Similarly over here, it's what? 20 plus x. Now choose the value of x that makes this expression as a perfect square. That will be 5. Right? So 20 plus 5, 25. Square root of 25 will be 5 only. And since you are putting x as 5, you need to take the positive value. Now again, if you take x as minus 4. So 20 minus 4, that's 16. Square root of 16 is what? 4 and minus 4 both. But if you are taking x as negative, it has to be negative. As simple as that. Right. So why to mug up a formula? Why to like like it's so easy like again it's 42 plus x right. So how would you make this as a perfect square if you add 7 or deduct 6 right. If you add 7 42 plus 7 that's 49 square root will be 7 or minus 7 but x is positive you need, need to take the positive value. If x is minus 6, that means 42 minus 6, 36 square root will be 6 or minus 6. But x you are taking negative, so x must be negative. That's it. Okay. Matter of 10 seconds, nothing more than that. If any sign change is there, plus, minus, whatever, whatever. According to that, you can choose. Right. Ultimately, our motto is to make the uh, term inside the square root uh, a perfect square. 
okay so by two means by two values it can be made up perfect square like by seven or minus six right if you add seven it will be perfect square if you deduct six it will be perfect square right as simple as that i hope you are clear now it's your turn i write one or two problems for you just try to solve them instantly uh, suppose it is uh, say 56 plus 56 plus 56 till infinity what will be the answer just tell me very quickly it's the matter of seconds only if you add 8 to it it will be converted to perfect square 64 then further it will be getting 8 if you take x is minus 7 56 minus 7 that will be 49 so further it will be getting a perfect square so it's 8 or minus 7 instantly you can say or suppose you have 72 plus 72 plus 72 right so x is equal to 72 plus x either you take 9 so it, it will be 81 so further it will be 9 or you take x as minus 8 uh, so 72 minus 8 64 further it will be minus 8 right so this sort of problems can be done just just see an answer right i hope you are clear now